In Arabic, there are two kinds of sentences. Sentences that are noun-focused, noun-based, and sentences that are verb-based. Nouns, do, do nouns have tense? Are nouns past tense, present tense, future tense, nouns? Is there such a thing? So you can say that nouns are timeless. You can say nouns are timeless, right? Uh, and verbs, do they have a tense? Which means they're stuck in time, which means they're temporary. So it's okay to say that nouns are permanent, forever, and verbs are temporary. I'm telling you something about linguistics now. Okay? Fatiha, what was the first part about? It was more about Allah. The middle part was between us and Allah, remember? We want to be His slaves, but we want His help. So half of it was for Him and half of it was for us. The last part is about who? Us. Okay, Here's this. check this out. Part one of Fatiha is noun-based. Part three, where we're asking, is verb-based. And the middle part, the, the middle part, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُوا وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ is actually, even though it's verb-based, it begins with a noun. So it's a mixture. It's a mixture of noun and verb-based. So once again, the first part is what again? Noun-based. The middle part is both noun and verb. And the last part is verb-based. What did I say about nouns? They're timeless. What's the first part about? So the part about Allah is timeless. Because Allah is timeless. What's the last part about? Us. And what, what kind of language is used? Verb-based. Because we ourselves are what? Temporary. The middle part according to Arabic grammar is a mixture of both. But it's an ism in the beginning, it's a noun in the beginning, even though it's a verb sentence. Which is strange. It's a mixture of both. And what was the middle ayah about? Was it a mixture of both? Something for us, something for Allah? Subhanallah.